Okay, so this is my kitchen. That's on the sprinkler. Real nice. Hang in there like that. Hang in there. You probably might not be able to see it because the cat food and everything, but there's a reason they excited them for the electrical. You can see it's not even, there's nothing on it. And it's just hanging outside the wall. We have one socket in the kitchen. One. I know online, I looked online, Master Gov, you're only supposed to have two. How are you supposed to survive with one socket? Well, then you gotta put a hundred things in one socket and then they yell at you because the guy told me, because that's a two prong thing, I put a three prong piece in there. Well, two prong piece to make it three prong so I can use my microwave. And in other words, it melted. And I showed the fire department. And it's got the little metal piece sticking out, and the guy's telling me, well, not for nothing, you know. That's not grounded. Wow. That's your fault. You should have taken care of it. Now, this is our bathroom in the hallway. <laughs> so, that. This is it now. It wasn't like this, but uh, I forget why I came in here. Oh, this is, yeah. Look, that's how you're supposed to get out of there. And it's super cool, cool. And since it was an incident, and that's, since, yeah, Robert got assaulted the day after me. I want a shower, so we're in here cleaning, and the manager's, you're not going to get that to go down. Oh, the manager's, uh, see how you can see right out there? Yeah. Well, the fire, I'm talking to the thing. The fire escape is out there. The point shot. is, if, if you look, not straight across, that's the I other bathroom. So Shut up! Straight across, just let me talk. Straight across is the bathroom, but there's a window right here, which is there's two fire escapes you can walk up. Actually, no, you walk up one side, but you can go all the way up. His, his window's here, and he's sitting out his window. I had a window right here on the thing, and my alarm's going off because it's motion sensor. Somehow, he calls the cops. We get yelled at after he, Robert gets assaulted. Broken police, a person charges against him. He gets hit in the head with a pipe from behind when we're walking away. Has a seizure, loses consciousness, and he's getting choked out. Has a broken neck. And Robert weighs 135. Her son, 325. Do the math. Even the cops said it. You have a problem with a kid that's 135 pounds? Really? And now this is the type of lock we had, which is why we have no doorknob, because he wanted us to keep this on. That's ridiculous. What kind of person gives that lock? Just give me one second, because, yeah. So he gets, whatever. He gets assaulted, goes to, what? goes, call, we call 911. But look, see, that's a regular door, deadbolt. 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 That one, no. That one's a new, but aside the deadbolt, everybody's got friggin' padlocks. Yeah, we have this, a deadbolt that we bought, but we have no doorknob. And actually, it doesn't work. So we have that. That's it, right there. That's what works. So when we are out, this is what you see. Fine. No. And then look, when they kicked the door in, all this came off. And Ro Robert took Putty and did what he could, and then it got kicked again by another one of his tenants. And we reported it both times, but between the two times, it was 10 grand. So this, it doesn't line up anymore, but actually it'll line up if we push the door over to the left, which is doing that to the frame up there. Down here, this, when it was lined up, it used to work, that used to go on too. This, there's about uh, this much under the door. This one, it's gone. 
So this is our... Uh, Those are the ones they cut off. Yeah, they basically cut them off. So we have this, this, and this is the most important part of uh, locking our door. What kind of... What the... We're disabled, both of us. We shouldn't have to deal with this. I called the cops. I called the court. I've called the Board of Health three different times. Actually, more than three different times. They came. They violated them for the door, the windows, the electrical. And then the landlord will record or come over here, act nice. Just so I say, yeah, there's been progress with the door, which is what he did last time. Which is the seven minute video I recorded and put online of him saying, oh, I'm just here to help. And right after that, the guy kept coming back and forth, never did nothing. So what happened that day was he took measurements of the door again for the like ninth time they've been taken. And... It was we we got he got served with something on January seventeenth. We took three board of health letters to housing court. They took that, they served him, gave it back to us, told us to bring it to the constable. Constable served him. Did he fix it? No. Did he try and set up a date to fix it? No. He called he came on a Saturday on a long weekend. And started drilling, because we didn't answer the door because we were sleeping. We heard drilling. He's taking our locks off on the outside. They call the cops. The cops are like, well, it doesn't matter what the judge said. And this is February 12th, regardless. It was supposed to be done January 17th. The cops are like, I don't give a fuck what the judge said. You can't really hear it, because I'm coughing. But if you can lower the volume of me and turn the cops up, you hear it. And they don't care. They said if they're going to come back here, they're going to arrest Robert. Robert's got a broken neck and he's epileptic. They can't tell you you can't call 911. But somehow they did. Somehow now him getting assaulted in self-defense turns into assault and battery charges on a kid who's 200 pounds heavier than him. And actually he's like 45 years old. So it isn't like he don't know better. He does. And it's... The manager's son, who bragged about he was going to rape me, who actually hit me in the stomach, and the mother saying, no, 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 I don't think my son would do that. No, 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 my son was sleeping. Oh, I don't think he would do that. He told me he didn't do that. So we have a video of her saying four different things about she doesn't know nothing. It was only me, Robert, and Brian in the hallway. Because Roger had already gone into his room. There was a bunch of other tenants we couldn't see. And after they had fought, then his mother came out with a knife. Like and last night. basically, I don't know what the hell she says to the cops. But since they've been here in December, she's called so much, she's pissed them off. And she's made 268 times. times since December. I'm going to give her the better for the doubt and say December 1st. She's being nice. She's. She, the she order. talks about she's intellectually disabled, so the fight department was like, well, how do you run a building with a bunch of disabled people when you're intellectually disabled? Do you have a license? Do you get a permit? Do you know CPS? Do you know how to not cane people? No. Oh, seven, eight people have already died from opiate overdose. Some and what does she do? Yet. Takes the meds. Can't You can't find her, but she, takes all she meds runs upstairs, money. takes their meds, takes their money. I was sitting there with the guy John OD'd, and then she basically ran upstairs, then she comes back downstairs, and Rich, Cliffy, me, and her, and the fire department, and the EMTs are saying, well, where's this medication? We need to know what he took. And John Zotto was there. And Sue was there. Sue's always involved when somebody ODs, just like Nate's wife. No, that's not true. When I took a seizure, she wanted to be No, alone. yeah. When Robert took a seizure, I wasn't here. I was in Boston. He couldn't remember his friggin' social. He called 911 or some... However, the EMTs came. 
he couldn't remember his social. They told her to go in the room. what she do? She stands in the hallway, and they say, well, Robert, do you know what day it is? Can you remember your social? She goes, yeah, it's da 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 Really? You know his social? Okay. <laughs> then that's know. bad because she has about 40 aliases. I've looked because I was curious. And, yeah, her son and her husband. I mean, that's fine. You could do whatever you want. Well, it's the same way, but at the end of the day, when you're screwing disabled people, it's not cool. I'm sure what I showed you, yeah. Why do people got to live like that? And wait, this is the other thing. Hold on a second. You could, I got pictures, but you can't actually see it now. But the floor raised up so much, you can see it. No, we fixed it. Yeah, we did fix it. We came back after court, and I said, you know what? I'm sick of the floor bouncing because it would stand on and go like this, and things were moving because it was way up here. It was about an inch, inch and a half off. So we took these off, nailed it down, and screwed it down. But that doesn't change the fact that there's mold and asbestos. Right under it. Right underneath it, and look at that. You can see the black with the wood. And tell it's all in my head. That's not in all in my head. Since I've been here, he's got COPD. I got asthma. Now I have an optic chamber. I never needed one of those. I never needed to go through two inhalers in a month. Well, I do now. So, anyways, do me a favor, please, since she's on my Facebook or whatever this is on. Please share this because nobody is doing anything. And he's taking people's money, like disabled people's money. The then he kicks them out. The they and repossession of they don't know any better. If disabled people, intellectually disabled people don't realize their rights or the laws, he's writing a fake, say, uh, Plymouth County Sheriff's paper saying for non-payment of rent, you owe eight grand. They give him the eight grand. That's it. It never goes to court. They never know it's a fake paper. But believe me, when we served him with the con brought the stuff, the papers to the constable, I brought all those letters he served. He said out of the stack that's about an inch big, one was real. One paper was real. The first one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hope you are all good.